hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to fix the hard drive not install hard drive not found and your system is not booting in the dell laptop or system so if you are facing these kind of issues so this video is for you so as you can see error on the screen in my case hard drive not installed so how to fix it first of all guys we have to go to the bios option and we need to make sure that the hard drive is showing up here or not so first you need to click on continue if you are not seeing the continue option just press and hold the power key for 15 seconds like this and make sure you turn it off properly once you turn it off properly just start, turn it on back and press f2 key continuously so that you can go to the bios option you can see here preparing the bios setup now you can release the shift key until you f2 key so some of the options are here first go to boot sequence here go to general setting and if your interface is different somehow you need to go to the boot sequence here and you can see here hard drive is not showing up here if your ssd is showing up here let's say this is your ssd and it's on the down you need to make it up and this this will change the boot priority from second to first then click on apply changes and exit so once it is showing up here but in my case i am not able to see it when you click on view option here it is not showing up here so what you can do now you you can go to the system information and let me see date and time should be correct here also change the date and time sometime date and time can cause this issue as well but then go to the system configuration here click on plus, plus icon then click on SATA operation and SATA operation if it is disabled select it ASCI then click on yes then click on apply then click on save setting then click on ok once you apply this setting again go to drive and make sure all the tick are showing here if any one is unticked like this you need to tick this option then click on apply like this so once you apply this changes again go to the boot sequence here and still it is not showing up let's click on here exit now seems the error is not resolved yet and same error I'm getting no the system is booted properly now you can see the error has been fixed now with these settings but if your issue is still not resolved guys I will show you next step how to fix it and how to troubleshoot it now different error is coming up for me your device ran into a problems and needs to restart let's see again it's trying to boot okay so same error i'm getting i need to hold it inaccessible boot device now let me turn it on and f2 key i need to press now i am again in the bios option boot sequence as you can see here hard drive is showing up now and when i view it it all the detail is showing up here so let's make it to on the top like this and then click on apply save changes ok and let's also go to the SATA operation and this time you can select the radon but i will try with first ahci 
the boot sequence I have changed now it's going to automatic repair option let's go to advance let's troubleshoot advance startup repair now different error is showing up here let's check it and fix the disk errors you may have to wait here if you are getting the same prompt like me but we can go to the BIOS option as well so let me turn it ok now it's attempting ok let me again go to the BIOS option firmware settings restart now everything seems to be perfect here but still not resolved guys so what you can do is we can restore to the BIOS default settings click on ok now let me exit it now now exit button is highlighted so this is the third or fourth number setting you can see restore default settings all the setting will be restored to the default back to BIOS so as you can see here guys my issue has been fixed now with the restore default settings if your issue is still not resolved again go to the BIOS option now let me turn it on and I will again press now again go to the boot sequence guys if, and if you are seeing here the UEFI two settings here first is UEFI and second one is legacy so if you are using the windows 10 you can windows 10 8 or 7 you can choose the legacy setting choose the priority option on the top and then restart your windows and see if that fix the issue or not if still not fix your issue guys so we can go to the hardware diagnostic test and we will press F12 key this time to run the hardware diagnostic test and plug in the charger as well before running the hardware diagnostic test and you can see here the option diagnostic so if your interface is different just choose the diagnostic press the enter key and let it run and if you get any failed error here that means that you have to replace your hardware let's say hard drive is showing a fail or the motherboard is itself failed then you have to replace it since I don't have charger at this point of time you have to plug in the charger as well and let me try yes continue and this will go like this and after all it will give you the all the details all the results here and if any test is failed you have to replace your hard drive either you can go to or you can go to the reinstall fresh window if hard drive is showing up here so this is how guys you can fix the issue i hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching